Hey designer, welcome to my channel, hope you guys are doing great. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this professional flyer using your smartphone. Let's check the preview of the design. Before jumping into today's tutorial, let's check the intro. Tickography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So guys, without wasting much of our time, let's dive into today's tutorial. Yeah, good day guys. Welcome back to Deco Gravity Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. Uh, right now, I want to show us that we can make a football final poster. Football final competition poster on you know, our Android smartphone using our pixel abacia so i want uh, uh, uh i want us to sit down relax and wait to the end because it is very simple and straightforward so without wasting much of our time let's get started the first thing is to determine the size that we want to use and this is the size i want to use as usual which is one two eight zero by one two eight zero then after that i will select the kind of background i want to use so background color I want to use this. I want to use this particular background. Or let me let's use this purple. Then after that, the next thing to do is to go to my gallery, then bring this overlay ribbon, which is pattern. Then you can get the pattern downloaded. I'm just scroll through, searching through, and I came across this particular uh, uh, pattern. We call it a pattern. It could be a line pattern or anything, but any form of pattern. Just type it on the Google, then you get the results just exactly as this. Then after that, I'm going there to bring my uh, uh, the logo, the football logo. Then go to your position, sorry, go to your relative size, and you have it fit in. Then don't forget to lock it. Then we are moving forward. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring the two competitor. I'm bringing the two competitor image and their logo side by side so the first one then i'm going there to bring the second one so it has to be side by side then after bringing it i have to lock the two after locking them then the next thing i'm going to do is to put a uh, 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 separation put facets. so i have a particular uh, this thing which i've made a text which i've moved behind the uh, uh, screen because of that V. The V takes a little time to make it uh, look that way. So I have to make that, and which I'm going to drop at the description of this video for your downloading, then for the practice. So after that, you'll lock it, then you'll see it look awesome. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to start labeling them. So the first thing is go to the text area, then you have the text deleted and wrote uh, type finer. So we have finer. Then I want to use uh, go to after final, then go to the font area, then use Roboto. So Roboto should be okay. Then after selecting the Roboto, you increase the size just as this very well. Increase the size very well. So after increasing the size, the next thing that I'm going to do after that, move it up a bit, then centralize it. After centralizing, then you go to the color, click on plus sign, then you move the bottom one towards the left. Then you see everything is just has disappeared. Don't worry. Go back to your stroke, and then enable the stroke. Select, uh, 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 select a white color yet, then you reduce it to something like three. Now use your relative position to position to the center. Then everything is actually plumb as you can see. Fine. Then the next thing we're going to do is to go to the text area. Then you signify which team. Label the team. So we have Real Madrid. We have Real Madrid. Then I'm going there to choose a Roboto Light font. Because there are some light Roboto Light font. Then I'll have to reduce the size a little bit. Then it has to be around here. So let it be around here. Reduce the size very well to something like uh, 
okay platforms then let it be positioned properly so after that the next thing i'm going to do is to copy then i'm going to edit it so put liverpool we have a liverpool as you can see so after that i'm going here just position this under this just as this okay very good you can turn on your grid to make sure that everything are in line with each other you can see right then you move this up a bit okay perfect perfect so after that the next thing we are going to do after position this uh let's move this towards a little bit okay perfect then the next thing i'm going to do after that i'm going to back to my text area as you can see i have this sorry go back to my text area then i will have to put the date 29th 29 june i mean july 29 july okay 29 july that is a 12 or let's say 12 a.m okay perfect then i'm going to the text area i have to choose a tax roboto but roboto will be regular roboto regular then reduce the size have the position around there then go to relative position to centralize now heading back to my gallery i have a shape being bring i have to bring it forward so take it for instance i'm bringing this then reposition to the center then you see it actually plumb right so after having this the next thing i'm going to do is to lock it immediately then i will use my color picker to tap the color from what i just imported last tap from this yellow color then position it just as this then after that um i want to change the color to this change it to yellow sorry there is a mistake since i've already made it uh, the stroke is working so i'm changing the color of the stroke now the color of the uh, or not giving it a new color again so make this calm down a little bit there should just be a little bit differences then go to the board board it a little bit and see how it look then there should be a space in between them so you have to space and use your relative position to position it to the center then the next thing i'm going to do is to copy from this and uh, edit live at so live at then you can see at channel tv so i'm bringing this down where just as perfect as this then i want to board it a little bit so um, I'm, I'm making it to rhyme i have to make it to rhyme to this so just bringing it up a bit and let it go there okay perfect live that so i'm thinking of changing because he, uh, uh, based on hierarchy i have to make a live art to be bold so that at least it will be very obvious for people to see that uh, it's live so i have to bring it back a little bit then reposition very well so after that there should be a space in between them just simple then i will i will space it i will move it back a bit so i have to rearrange very well okay perfect perfect and this is just cool in less than what in less than 10 minutes we are able to come up with a, a, a football competition poster on our android smartphone using our pc lab i believe this is what this is awesome you can practice and achieve this thanks for watching and i want to urge you if you are a new viewer that you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe so that you can enjoy an amazing video like this and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i update my channel with a new video like this and if you are a subscriber i beg please turn on the bell icon so that you can be notified as well thanks for watching god bless you the next thing we are going to do we are going to save it don't forget i don't match if you notice something about my design i hardly merge my layer I don't merge it because once you are merging unnecessarily on your piece of lab, you are losing the quality you are indirectly losing some of quality of your elements so you don't merge unnecessarily 
and there is a way you can group your design here which i normally use whenever i'm making my own tutorial just as this thanks for watching guys god bless you let's save it as a what save it as ultra which should be the first thing and save as a png thanks